What's up, you zombie-loving bastards, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, here for another quickie. The movie I'm going to be talking about today is a fantastic South Korean horror animated film. Uh, it's a prequel to Train of Busan that came out a few years before this one. Uh, this is 2016. It is Soul Station. And it is directed by, let me get my notes because I do not know this guy's name at all, Sang Ho Yeon, who is the actual director of Train of Busan. So it's a nice little companion piece to the film. Um, and it's just a really great story. It's really got a lot of heart to it. Um, the animation is pretty, pretty uh, smashing. And the whole story is just really cool. Um, let's just say that it starts out pretty much similar to Train of Busan, where um, everything's kind of normal, but then shit hits the fan. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I know there's a young girl who's separated from her family, and she's trying to make a living in the city. Uh, there's a whole story about her dad trying to find her. Um, and there's a uh, centers on the homeless too in that area. So the homeless trying to survive. So it pits a lot of different, um, lifestyles together in this whole zombie story. But, um, it pretty much just goes from there. The infected just start infecting people. I think it starts out near the, in the homeless community and then just kind of takes over and wreaks havoc on the whole entire, um, city of Seoul. So it's just really crazy, really good animation. Like I said, um, surprising amount of heart. And it's just a really um, high-octane kind of film. The zombies are crazy. They run. They go nuts. They're like rabid psychotics. And there's a lot of cool characters in it. And a lot of different interactions and different age groups. And it's just kind of like a, uh, caps a capsule of what kind of Korean society is there. Uh, really cool stuff, though. Really, really neat and vibrant and bloody and insane. But um, if that sounds up your alley, definitely check it out. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime, like most of the ones that I've been doing recently, because I figured why not just start shooting these out for you guys to check out on your own if you got the um, if you got the Amazon Prime and you got the time because we're all quarantined. Why not just start sharing some great films that we've all uh, ran across and I thought you might like. But um, yeah, Soul Station is amazing. Really, really cool stuff. Um, I, I think I like it as much as the... Um, the original film, Train to Busan. Um, they're both really, really cool stories, very cool zombie stories, and yeah, really cool stuff. Animation is not probably the most uh, amazing animation I've seen, but the style works for the story and for the content with the zombies. So yeah, it's just really great stuff, really cool and original and different. So definitely check it out. Definitely, definitely check it out. But that's Soul Station. Um, I guess that's it for me today on this quickie. It was a nice quick one and hopefully you enjoyed it and hope, hopefully you have a good time with this content and are loving the um, the string of content I'm, I've been putting out. But guys, I will talk to you later next time in front of a camera and stay out of trouble, stay quarantined, stay six feet from people and you know the razzmatazz. The, the rest of it's there. But um... Take care, get out of my house, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.